Tyler Perry reportedly makes history as first African American to acquire two major TV networks. In a major development for the entertainment industry, BET has become black owned once again after 21 years, while VH1, for the first time, now also boasts an African American owner. According to his longtime friend and television personality Rolanda Watts, Tyler Perry has cemented his place in history by acquiring the two major television networks, making him the first African American to do so. The acquisition follows the news that Paramount Global has sought to sell a majority stake in BET. According to a source close to Tyler, when she learned that Tyler bought BET Media Group, Megan contacted and offered to contribute $2 million. But even more odd is that she wants to owe that money, because her current economic situation is not very good. Of course Tyler refuses, he can't agree to a deal that doesn't benefit him. He knows Meg has no money now, she always wants free things, and he never accepts it. Tyler belongs to the ranks of the rich and powerful in America, something Meghan has always wanted to achieve. Tyler has now acquired BET Media Group further cementing his position in London and New York. He's handsome, talented, and popular in New York. Our customers are the most influential people here. On the contrary, the financial situation that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle would currently be going through is like between a rock and a hard place. This has been announced by an English biographer, who has also confessed the excessive expenses that the couple made and that led them to go through the economic situation they're going through at the moment. He stated that the couple have spent a lot of money on luxuries, which were much higher than their income. Meghan's greatest surprise and disappointment was that Prince Harry has very little money. Bauer claims she imagined he'd be worth hundreds of millions if not billions of dollars. She imagined that he'd be worth hundreds of millions if not billions of dollars, and she's having to make up for it now. The writer went on to say that the couple couldn't afford their current lifestyle as working members of the royal family. Marco wants to ride in the big Cadillacs, have private jets on command. He told the outlet, at the moment, she needs to scrounge for those kinds of things. Earlier this year, the renowned actor, filmmaker, director, producer and entrepreneur expressed optimism about purchasing BET, stating his keen interest if it were a possibility. Perry, who had already enjoyed success in collaboration with BET, partnering with his Tyler Perry Studios banner to create the popular streaming service BET+, was no stranger to the network. Acknowledged the unexpected nature of the acquisition, stating, I've been there for four years now and had tremendous success, if that is possible, I'm very, very interested in taking as much of it as I can. The exact financial details of the deal have not been disclosed, but experts on this sort of transaction have placed a significant value on the acquisition of the two networks. With the purchase, Perry assumes control over BET Media Group, which includes other networks such as VH1. Since its launch, the BET Plus streaming service has experienced remarkable success. In 2021 alone, BET Plus was responsible for half of the subscribers and nearly all revenue growth for the channel. The platform features a wide range of original films and series from the extensive BET program library, captivating audiences with diverse and engaging content. The acquisition of BET and VH1 marks a significant milestone in the representation and ownership of the entertainment industry. Perry's success as an African-American entrepreneur and his commitment to showcasing diverse stories and voices have paved the way for increased opportunities and inclusivity in the media landscape. As the new owner of these influential networks, Perry is poised to leave an indelible mark on the future of black-owned media and further amplify underrepresented narratives on a global scale.